Hey gorgeous, glad to have you. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Becca and tonight we are going to do a fun little fall eyeshadow tutorial. So I haven't really done a whole lot of recording or anything. I'm finally just coming out of an RA flare. So now that I'm feeling better, I've been dying to show you my happy little accident because girl, I don't really use these eyeshadow shades too often and I just kind of threw them together one day and decided that it looked pretty awesome. Also, my amazing husband did a thing this week and surprised me when I came home from work with a new background to record my videos with. I'm super excited for it. So let me know down in the comments what you think of my new background and and without further ado, we are going to get into this tutorial. You're going to be using the Through My Eyes palette from ColourPop, uh, a collaboration with I Love Sarah. Hi! I don't even know if that's how you say her username, but that's just like how I pronounce it in my head. So there you go. Really, we're going to be sticking with the yellow, the lighter brown here, the very dark brown, and then right down here, the shade Flex, which looks super bright in the pan there but it's actually got like a whole lot of silvery glitter to it um, but you could definitely pull off this eye look with several other palettes including the Jaclyn Hill palette um, which I know pretty much everybody has at this point. So for today's eye look, I'm going for like a halo eye, smoky eye hybrid, and I generally stay away from darker um, eye looks, but I really thought that this was a lot of fun and it would work for everybody of all ages, and these colors are totally flattering for all skin tones, so of course it was perfect to put up on my channel. So girl, we are gonna start off with a fluffy blending brush and this is my number one favorite. Always, always start my eye looks off with this one. And we are going to start with the yellow at the very top here. And that one is Wild Soul. We're gonna go ahead and put this all over in our crease and blend it up super high. I'm gonna put a good bit of this yellow in my crease because we're gonna be using some darker shadows and this will help it blend very nicely. And the next shade we are going to be using is this medium brown tone right here. So it is matte, but it does have a good bit of glitter in it, though it doesn't turn up as sparkly on your eye as it looks like in the pan, so no worries, honey. We're gonna go ahead and take a smaller but still fluffy blending brush, and I'm gonna put a good bit of the product on my brush and start blending it out lower into my crease. Now I'm also going to be putting it on my outer and inner corner on my lid and kind of blending it towards the middle. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and take another dab of the yellow on your big fluffy blending brush and just soften the transition a bit. Next I'm going to take a little detail brush, however you could totally go for another like small blending brush, and going to go in with this dark brown shade, Davina. So any like really deep dark brown shade would do, though I think like a warmer brown tone looks better with this. So I'm gonna take that and put it on the outer and inner corners and blend it towards the middle. No, no.
once you've blended that out a bit, we're going to take the shade Flex on the finger because I feel like this gives it the most pigment, but you're always welcome to use like a flat shader brush to pack it on. And I'm going to take some of my MAC Fix Plus spray and spray my fingertip a little bit and just start by putting it on in the middle of my eyelid and spreading it out from there. So once you've got that shimmer shade on, you could totally leave it as is, but I like to darken the corners a little more, so I'm going to take that really dark brown there and pack some more on on the inner and outer corners. So once you're happy with your inner and outer corners, we're going to go ahead and start on the lower lash line area. So I already put on uh, my liner for the lower lash line and I'm gonna go ahead and take that yellow and start with a bigger shader brush and I'm gonna take this down a little bit lower than you would think to um, just so that it kind of pops through all the brown that we're gonna put on closer to our lash line Next, I'm going to take a smaller shader brush and go in with that medium brown shade and I'm only going to put it on the outer half of my lower lash line and definitely a little closer to my lash line as well. going to blend it back and forth and maybe blend it just a little bit further into the corner but not by much. For the last part of our lower lash line area we're going to take the darkest brown shade and put it on like the outer third of my lower lash line. We're going to be keeping this one like as tight to the lash line as possible. And now we're going to take this shimmer shade right here and highlight our inner corner and brow bone. But I'm also going to apply my liquid eyeliner and do somewhat of a moderate-ish dramatic uh, wing because we're going to do a little something something afterwards. <laughs> Alright beauties, so I got my liquid eyeliner on, put that highlight on, I'm feeling pretty good about this eye look and really this is how I did it the other day, you could totally leave it as is, it's a perfect, you know, every day go to school, go to work, wear it around the office eye look. However, me being me, I want to know what it looks like with a like a line of silver glitter over like above the eyeliner itself. So that is what we're going to do. I'm going to take a liner brush as well as the liquid eyeshadow, uh, the glitter mesmerism from You Can Be in shade 01 Mirage. And I picked this up on Amazon a while back. I did it in one of my videos. You can probably go back uh, several months and check that out. But for right now, I'm just going to take some of that on this brush and draw a line just above my liquid eyeliner. So wish me luck.
I've got my highlighter on and I'm ready for my lipstick. I'm going to use basically my all-time favorite nude shade. So this is from Smashbox. It's their Be Legendary Matte Lipstick in the shade Latte. And it's kind of like an orangey terracotta-y brown. And you would think that it wouldn't look good on anybody, but it is literally my perfect nude. Though I totally think you could probably pull off like a bright red lipstick with this. I think this is the way to go. Alright darling, so this is the finished makeup look and I gotta say this is definitely my current fall favorite go-to eye look, especially for work when I get up early and I need something easy to just grab and go and get it over with. Um, and it still looks like super glam, but then it's like soft glam and it's like a dark eyeshadow look, but not. It's somewhere in the middle. And especially if you're not really into the dark eyeshadow thing, girl, this is the way to go. And like anybody can pull this off, baby. But you know the drill. So let me know down in the comments what you thought of this tutorial and if you would rock this. And in the meantime, that is it for today. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and go out and spread some love and positivity today, baby. We could all use some extra. You're beautiful and I love you. Bye everyone.